Right everyone, welcome back to here. Right, I have no idea how how easy it is to see me. It's the evening at the minute. I'm not getting a lot of time to do videos. So I'll be doing the golf club cane self-defense item type thing now. So I'll be cutting off this end and then I'll be doing something to the end, but I'm going to keep it a surprise. So this is just a standard, I don't know what it is. Uh, if it's a 9-iron or whatever. I can't actually see the number on it. Yeah, it's a golf club anyway. So, cut the end off, then I'm going to do something to the end. So, the next bit you'll see me do is cutting off the end and working on it. save that for something all right so there's the end I'm gonna round that over now the file and then we'll see what is in the center so it does appear to be something else there <coughs> right so something in the end of this, something a little bit soft. So in case it's fiberglass or something like that, I'm going to go and get a mask to wear and then I'm going to drill that out. Right, so one of the other things I'm going to do with this golf club cane type thing is take the end out of this crossbow bolt because it's a threaded section and insert it into there. It'll make threading things in a lot easier than trying to thread whatever that material is. So I'm going to have to get that out now. So the easiest way to do this, put it in a vise and file away some of the metal. And you do this until you see the plastic. You can get crossbow bolts with metal ends as well. And then once you've done that, you can put that back in, break this out. So there is now the threaded part to go inside the golf club. So using this, I can get the size of the drill hole I need. This might work, we'll have to see. He might need one bigger. Right, <laughs> glue this in now then. Hopefully it should be nice and solid. Right, so I'm going to have to let that dry and I'll come back to it in a bit. Super glue so it shouldn't take too long to dry. Um, we'll see how it goes. May then file that top off. And then I'm going to work out a way to mount some other things on this which you'll see when I get around to it. Right so that's the nice threaded end we've got. What I'm going to do now is create a threadable bolt, double-ended bolt basically, but you have to be thinner on one end than the other. So I can screw that in and use it for other things and then I'll make that now and then the next part of the video will be me demoing some of the ends that can be used on this.
Right, so this is where I've got to. So it's pretty much ready. I can just put the ends on it now to show you my demos. But yeah, this is a removable threaded bolt really. Two different ends though, because the, the threads will be different for the things I want. So that just screws straight in there. Gives me a little threaded end here for using with other items. So I'll show you that now.